So this is episode four, Fears to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. Let's get started. New game, first time playing. Episode playtime, two hours, okay. Little, little bit longer. Carson House was a little long too. New game. Iron Bark Lookout. May 12th? Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be dumb, would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. What's up, Raymond Noodles? I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Etc. Sorry. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official, some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes, and I was off to the new location. It was about a two-hour drive. All right, guys, let's go. It's always hard to drive. Everyone always tries to text me while I'm driving. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I'm in my RV. I'm just chilling. I lived a very solitary life. Man, I cannot drive. I don't know why the controls are so hard to drive. I've always loved the great outdoors. It's only 25 miles per hour here. Jeez. Yeah, look at the beautiful view. Oh, I'm driving off road. I cannot drive. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm driving off road. Hold on, we got a text message. Everyone's always texting me while I'm driving. I remember there's a diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You may have to try them out. Okay. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. All right. Let's get a burger. 
Let's just let's park here. We're gonna go get a burger. Hey, oh. Let's go get a burger. Oh, this is a nice, cozy little diner. Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Thanks. All right. Let's sit down. I think we're going to get a burger. I'm starving here. Can I get some service, please? Come on. Oh, here she comes. What's up, ma'am? How you doing? Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Hell yeah. So what can I get for you? Let's do the cheeseburger with fries. Large Coke. Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Large Coke. That'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Oh, gosh. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I guess I got to take a pee. <laughs> Dang, I really had to pee. God ah, damn. <laughs> All done. Let's wash our hands really quick. dry our hands off let's go see if our burger's done rose pee in a river <laughs> hey my burger done I'm over here I'm starving I'm starving this is a cozy little diner I'd go here in real life. <laughs> hey! Thank you, ma'am. I'm starving. <laughs> Dang, we downed that burger fast. Let's take a drink. Reminds me of Steak and Shake. Yeah. Uh, we got a text message from Kayla. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here still eating. This is so good. Oh, we got a huge swig. <laughs> Told you. Thanks, Kayla. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Check, please. Check, please. Thank you. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. That's fine, Kayla, thanks. Now leave me alone. This food was delicious. Yes. Here's a check. Your total will be six dollars. That's a damn good deal. A large swig, a huge swig of fry and a burger for six dollars. That's what I'm talking about. Six dollars, fifty percent tip. You did fantastic, Barbara. You're getting a fifty percent tip. You're fantastic, waitress. Thank you for the generous tip. No problem.
No! Oh, I thought maybe I had to go throw my tray away. Never mind. Hey, bro! Keep up the good work. That was a damn good burger. See you later, Barbara. Please leave me alone. I was just trying to be nice and have a little conversation. Fine. Oh crap, I left my RV door open. That ain't good. We got our belly full. Let's get back on the road. On the road again. Can't wait to get back on the road again. I'm driving pills. Eight oh two PM. Not gonna lie, these tunes we're listening to are pretty chill. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Oh, God. What's that sign say? Do I keep driving? I drove past the trail at first. Do I need to, do I keep going or do I have to back up? Do I keep going or do I have to go back? Oh, I had to drive back to the trail, okay. We're putting it in reverse, Terry. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm crashing the RV. <laughs> I am the world's worst RV driver. Back up, please. Gosh, this thing's a pain to drive. I guess we have to go right here. Slow down. I guess this is where we're supposed to go. Let's shut the door this time. Okay, where are we supposed to? Oh, this is the, is this where we work? Gold Creek Trail, Iron Bark State Park. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, guys. Maybe over here. Do not block. We going here? What's up, man? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Oh, God. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Yes, sir. That's me. Hang on. Let me check on that. Okay. I promise I'm telling the truth. I'm not lying. 
Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Okay. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here you are. Or here are the keys. Appreciate it. Let me open the trail gate for you. Appreciate it. He just walked through the door. He's a ghost. You have to open the door. He's a freaking ghost. Since you are arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your look. Oh, we have to walk? Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. Okay. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. Thank you, Billy. Um, he'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Okay, remember that, guys. Tower 12. If we need anything, we have to contact Tower 12. Thanks, Billy. What? Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. All right, you got it. Oh, God. I have a feeling there's more than bobcats and bears up here. I left my bag in the RV. Oh. I almost forgot my bag in the RV. Let's go get it. It's dark out here. I almost forgot my bag. Can I turn the can I turn the RV off? I don't I'm assuming I don't want to just let it run. Okay, I guess it is what it is. When I come back from my shift, I'm going to be out of gas. Did I just hear footsteps behind me? 11.32 p.m. It's almost midnight. All right. Here we go. This is our lookout, Tower 11. This wouldn't be creepy at all, would it, guys, in real life? Just walking out in the woods at almost midnight. Okay, what's up with the creepy music? I'm just going to work. I'm just going to work. There's no need for the creepy music. Come on. Tower 11. Oh, there's our tower right here. This reminds me of freaking Slender, man. Yo, chat, you guys think this would be a fun job or would it be scary? Utility shack? 
Um, do I need anything in here? I mean, if nothing bad happened, it'd be a pretty chill job, probably. Okay, I turned the generator on. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Yes, you did. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary, okay? Let's put our bag on the bed. There we go. What is that? Bug spray? Um, oh, let's turn the lights on. There we go. Let's just leave our flashlight on the bed. Guys, this is kind of cozy. I ain't gonna lie. This is kind of cozy. Osborne Fire Finder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. Okay, I think Billy said the first thing we have to do, guys, is... First thing we have to do is, um... Something on the computer, I think he said. This is an old computer! Starting Rainbow 98! Oh no. We got a computer from 1998. This thing's gonna be slow as hell. Worst gaming PC ever. Guys, did Billy give us a password? Static. I don't know the password to the computer. Um. Oh, system password is iron bark. Oh, iron bark 11. Okay. Here we go. Why does it always do this to me? I swear the game always does this to me, guys. I don't know why. No! Mitch Scott. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. I already got that. What am I doing wrong? Iron bark, and then you put iron bark with the tower number. What's well, iron bark 11? Why is it not working?
I may have had the cap locks on by accident. <laughs> Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help. You make the most of your computer day. Okay, thanks. No! Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Oh my. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. I no longer want to work here because of this training video. Guys, what did Billy say we had to do? S service reporting. New guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Connor, Fire Tower 12. Okay, Connor at 12. Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature's about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. All right, got it. Thanks, Connor. Yo, what's up, Hank? Where do I see the temperature? Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna do it now. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. The heck is it beeping for? The firewood's out in the utility shed. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The snapper who was in the lookout before you. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds empty. Um, yeah, we. I think we got to go down. We got to go down to get some. Hey, what's up, Connor? We got to go down to get some firewood. Let's go get some firewood. What's up, Green Demon? How are you? I wish there was an elevator here. It'd be a little faster. <laughs> Apparently there's going to be. There's going to be a storm, so we need to get a fire going so we don't get too cold.
Oh no! I spilled gasoline on the on the ground. Yep, got it. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Hey, oh, oh, shit. Did you report for the night yet? Not yet, no. No! Oh my gosh, I just dropped the matches in the fire. It's not what I meant to do. All right, guys, how, how do I report for the night? What's the temperature? I think we're sitting at about, we're sitting at 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees. What's the wind? We're sitting at 50 degrees service reporting. Oh my god, what do you want? Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to it. You better get to it then. Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night before signing off. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No, I don't. So we got it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. What's the wind speed? <laughs> I don't I don't want to play a game right now. I have to work. Okay. I have to somehow figure out what the wind speed is. Bame, how do you know that? How do I figure out the wind speed? Oh, this right here. It's cloudy, 19 knots, okay. All right, here we go. Wind speed, 19 knots, cloudy. My name's Jack, right? Something didn't look right. What? It's cloudy. Is it my name, Jack? I forgot my name. <laughs> How the hell would I know by looking at that, guys? How the hell would I know by looking at this that the temperature is 40, 44.2? You can't even see that closely. It's halfway between 40 and 60. That'd be 50 degrees Fahrenheit. How is it 44.2? Oh, I don't know.
It's not taking it, guys. It's not working. Weather clear? Oh my gosh. I'm not cut out for this job. not working guys I don't know I did 44.2 it still says something doesn't look right I put 44.2 Oh my gosh. We haven't even started the game, guys, and I can't figure this out. What is happening? We didn't... Hikers assisted. We didn't assist anyone. Forty-nine. I wish I could see. Oh my God. I didn't know you could click on it. <laughs> I didn't know you could click on the thermostat or thermometer. What's it called? I don't know. Thermostats on, on, in your house, isn't it? Thermometer. 46.6. Oh my gosh. I didn't know you could click on it. Right here, Tower 11 Apparently copy. I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> good night, over and out. What do we do now? I guess we're going to go to bed. We're going to bed. I guess if Connor's going to bed, we're going to bed too. We said we were tired. Oh no, 326 and... Three twenty six AM. Oh God, why is it always No 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 Connor? I had to pee. Oh gosh. Where's my flashlight? My flashlight is missing. Are you oh no, I left my flashlight on the bed. On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. 
But we have to go all... <laughs> I thought we had to go down to the porta potty. We're just we're just peeing off the edge. <laughs> That's a healthy stream, brother. <laughs> We're just peeing off the edge. Guys. What do we do? Go back to bed? I guess we go back to bed. We had to get up and go pee. We had a strange feeling. <laughs> Bam says I do the same thing. Night two. What is this? Five Nights at Freddy's? Ooh. Look at that view. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Let's take a nice sip of Joe. This would be a pretty chill job. I'm not going to lie. I would do this job. <laughs> take a photo. Just having some coffee, listening to some music, watching the sun come up. Beautiful. Bob Ross painting. Jeez, how long does this coffee take to drink? What's up? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Yeah, Connor. I know it's you, bro. Tower 11. Do you copy? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. I guess that's why I'm going to turn the radio off for now. It's a little obnoxious. Yep, I see the smoke. Give me a minute, Connor. I had to go check. It's about that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Okay. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Um, is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray. Uh, do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. All right, thanks, Connor. Don't forget to carry your bear spray if you twist. New guy. Over and out. Over and out. Got it. Should we also take our compass? I guess we're gonna go... Ch we just head towards the smoke? Oh, it's this way. I lost sight of the smoke for a minute. I was on the wrong trail. What? 
Is it this way? Caution, bears in area. Nice. I don't have my flashlight! Oh no, I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. What was that? No camping. Oh God, no. What do you want, Kayla? Everything's fine, Kayla. Why do I hear I hear whistling? What do I do? What do I do? Do I grab a weapon? Pick up the machete. What do I do? Somebody was obviously here or multiple people. I don't know what to do. It's not letting me interact with anything or pick anything up. I can't pick up the flashlight. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, oh. Who's there? Anybody there? The area beyond the site was closed. I guess we just head back. There's nothing else we can do. Yeah, we can't go in the water. The area behind the site was closed. I guess we just have to go back. We have to go back and report this. Let's go back and report this. I knew I needed to put out the campfire before heading back to the tower. Ah, good point, good point. Let's go get some water, I assume. All right, well, the campfire is out. We're heading back to report this. We have a campsite that is currently unoccupied. Not sure where the people went. Nine oh seven PM. As I have as I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that, but think what might have happened. I can't see a damn thing. Oh, 
man, I can't see anything. Oh, here it is. Why is there a flashlight right there? Is that mine? This is my tower, right? Is this my tower or is this Connor's? No, this is mine. I had to report to Connor about everything. Okay. Connor, do you copy? Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Talk about the campsite. Are you kidding me? Nope, I'm not. It's serious. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. It wouldn't let me pick up the flashlight. Third time this month. Anything Gee. else you notice in those woods? Uh, the scream. The scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area. About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. They could have let me know before I applied for the job that it's a possible haunted forest. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. Okay. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Okay. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Um, it is... It's kind of late. Should we do a report? What time is it? It's 9 it's 907 at night. Maybe we should do a report. Not delivered, not delivered. We don't have any service out here. All right, let's go ahead and see what the wind is. Twenty one knots. I would say it's cloudy out. Twenty one knots. We may have a storm on the we may have a storm coming, guys. Twenty one knots. We may have a storm a brewing. Forty eight point seven. Remember that, guys. Forty eight point seven. Wind speed, 21 knots. I'm going to say it's cloudy out. Hikers assisted. I'm going to say zero because we didn't run into anyone. Okay. I'm going to go to bed. We did our report for the night. Let's go to... I say we get some rest. Uh, 
we should probably we should probably start a fire let's grab our flashlight do you guys think it's smart we should probably start a fire right if it's only 48 degrees let's start a fire before we go to bed It's a little chilly. I hear footsteps. Why do I hear footsteps? Let's get back up in the tower. Guys, I hear footsteps. What the heck? There was footsteps outside the utility shack. Was it just me or did you guys hear footsteps? I swear I heard footsteps. I swear I heard footsteps. We're gonna go to bed. Let's see if there's anything on the radio. Static. All right. I think we just need to go to bed for the night. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Oh, we have to make ourselves some dinner. Okay. Oh, crap. Um. <laughs> what do we make? What do we make? <laughs> um, do we just heat something up or do we have to actually like cook food? I don't want to throw all the groceries on the ground. Gosh dang it. I don't know. I guess I have to figure out how we're going to cook the food. It's not letting us grab any of the pans or anything. Um, can I put the ground beef in the pot and cook it? <sighs> it's not letting me grab a pan, guys. I literally thought I can grab a pan and cook something. It's not letting me grab a pan. Oh, um, I wasn't sure. Oh crap, we're making the we're making the casserole from Kayla. Place all the ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. There's no ground beef in this? 
So 420 degrees. Can we set the oven? Oh, come on. Uncooked pasta. We got marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. Okay. I would put some ground beef in it, but. What is this uncooked pasta? I am making such a mess. This should not be this difficult. Where's the pasta? Pepperoni and diced tomatoes. We need some pepperoni. Pepperoni! Oh. All right, we got everything. I made a mess, but... <laughs> I guess we had to cook our dinner. Makes sense. <laughs> you guys, you there? Connor! I'm just trying to eat some dinner! Oh, yeah. My food's gonna burn. My pasta better not burn, Connor. What is it? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What'd they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Well, that's relieving. Hope they can track them down and get some peace of their mind. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day. Alright, good night. Over twelve, signing off. Over. I like eating in bed. Okay. This looks kind of like some lasagna. I know, did he even grab an oven mitt or anything? His hands have to be burning. <laughs> I was already full. All right. Uh, let's go put this in the fridge. All right, guys, we're going to bed. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Wait, what? Guys, what am I supposed to do? I always close the board. What board? I always close the board before going to bed. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Is there a toothbrush here? Can we brush our teeth before bed? I don't think that's an option. I always closed the boards outside before heading to bed. What are the boards?
rope. No, he didn't say blinds. He says, I always closed the boards outside before heading to bed. He didn't say blinds. Oh. Okay. I got to go all the way around. I'm like, what is he talking about? The boards? Well, if someone wanted to creep on us, they would just look right here because there's no board right here. <laughs> All right, now we can go to bed. Thank God. I'm tired. Whew. It's a long day, guys. Long day. We did our report for the night. We're going to bed. Let's turn the light off. Guys, I'm not going to lie. This would be a pretty chill job. Didn't I close them all? Ow. Oh, I missed one. My bad. I missed one. Sorry. Oh, now we can go to bed. Thank you. God, I better not wake up in the middle of the night. 2.27 a.m. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. I was woken up by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Oh, my. Who is that? Was that? Guys, what do I do? Do I do I have to open the door?
Do I have to open the door? What do I do? Do I have to go outside? Oh no, I have to go outside, don't I? I have to go outside? Oh. I don't want to. Should I turn the flashlight off? Oh no, what is that? What is that? There's no one here. Guys, can I go back to bed, please? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Yeah, let's get in here and shut the door. Lock the door. We gotta contact Connor. This is not good. No! Connor, you copy. I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Connor, wake up. Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. I just couldn't wait until morning. Mention the skull. <sighs> Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. It was not a kid. It was some guy in some weird cult outfit. I don't think these kids are messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This feels like some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Exactly! We're in the middle of nowhere, Connor! Perfect place for serial killers and crazy people! Tomorrow! For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do it be morning before you know it. <sighs> try to get some sleep, Jack. Good night, Con Good night Connor. Night. Connor didn't make any sense. I think Connor knows something. I think Connor knows why the last guy who worked at Tower 11, Marley, quit. Yeah, he quit. He got out of here for a reason. I guess we're going to bed. Okay. I bet you Connor's going to... Oh, we night three. How many nights are there? Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it's a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in these woods. So it's the next day at nighttime. What am I looking for? My paranoia my paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. I don't see anything. Man, this is a dirty lens. Stop it. It won't let me clean. P 
People are letting off fireworks. I wonder if we could see Connor from here. Dang, we can zoom in pretty far. I'm not sure what we're looking for, guys, but... I'm not seeing anything. Creep? Why'd you say creep? Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, gosh. Give me a minute. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Oh, this isn't Connor. This is a hiker. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What is your current location? Well, he probably wouldn't know that if he's lost. Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Oh, that wasn't fireworks, that was flares. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Walking towards west. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you. I have no idea, buddy. You're on your own. Intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I'm at a trail intersection. Wait, where's the intersection? Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. God damn it, no! I'm trying to look at the map! Uh, are, are you supposed to be? Uh, I don't know what he means, trail intersection. I'm not good at reading maps. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to tell him to go left or right. Hopefully it's the right way. <laughs> Do, 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 Sorry, buddy, you're on your own. I'm 
Remember to call your sister before sleep. The map, it all looks the same to me. <laughs> I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't Take remember if I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so. I think it's the right it trail. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. No problem, buddy. Making a decision in the dark can be challenging. Hopefully he doesn't die, guys. If he dies, I'm not taking responsibility. I'm right here. What? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. He's freaking dead. That's not me. You're freaking me out. I do. It's Billy. Oh my gosh. It's Billy. Um, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Oh gosh. Billy doesn't seem very optimistic. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Thanks, Billy. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a camp's, uh, campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Why do you keep saying that? Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. I think there's more to the story than just bobcats and bears, Billy. You need to tell me the truth right freaking now. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Uh, I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Guys, do I trust this guy, Billy, here? Or is he secretly, like, part of a creepy cult or something? Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. I don't know if I can trust this guy, this guy here, Billy. The guy on the radio might have been the guy who put the skull there by the door. Yeah. Anyways, it's, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies, buddy. just happened. Where'd the supplies just go? What do we do? Do we have to make a report?
23 knots. The wind's picking up. Looks pretty clear out. 23 knots, 56.3 degrees. Okay. It's pretty windy out. Behind me? Is there someone watching me? Oh, crap. Let's heat up our food. What time is it? It's pretty late, right? Yeah, 9.07. It's getting kind of late. We're going to eat some dinner. We're going to go outside and we're going to close all the boards. We're going to close those. Hopefully no one sneaks up on me and tries to kill me. Queso snack. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the frickin' stove. Oh, no. Oh. Every night that passes, guys, I feel like things are just going to get worse. Let's grab some wood really quick. Start the fire. Get ready for bed. You just gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Uh, what are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance over on the radio tower over there. Okay. Thought I'd say hi, the new guy everyone's been talking about. Uh, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Um, we must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Um, right, we rely, we relay information about fire sightings. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. This dude right here is part of that creepy cult, I bet. Um, I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you were hope you sleep well, but remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. I'm not I'm not curious about anything. Farewell, Jack.
The guy gave me the creepiest vibes. Yeah, he's just walking into the woods. Yeah, I'm going up here. I'm going up here. I'm locking the door. Terrible aim, apparently. Needed gasoline? What? Jeez, it's like not letting me put the gasoline on the wood. What the heck? I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Huh? New guy. You there? Yeah, I'm here. What are you talking about? You copy now. Right here. Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? Silas is not the maintenance guy, is he? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? Oh, no. Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was no! costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. I don't think this is a prank, Connor. Come on, bro. Do your name. You think he's been listening? I'm not sure. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Good night. Tower 12, signing off. I didn't shut the boards outside and it let me go to bed. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. Yeah, I think I would have left this job a long time ago. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later, oh no, 9.18 p.m. You guy, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Well, thanks for the help. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Probably. Anyways, AI. For now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Use the council for the new update? What's that? Oh. The 
Please enter the update package code. The update package code. Does anyone know what the update package code is? Please enter the update package code. What is that? Well, to be honest with you, all this is dare I say it. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Is it around here somewhere? Does anyone know the packet update code? Because if I don't know this code, I'm not going to be able to do it. Someone look up the code for me, because I don't know it. Type help. C H K U P D. Oh, well, there we go. Four, three, four, sixty, eighty, four. Four three four six zero eight four. I figured it out. C H K. Please enter an active line. Gosh, dang it.
I'm not sure how to update this, to be honest. <laughs> Check for available system update. Update service. Version 1803. Security patch version 5468. What does that mean? Current package version 2.07. Is it updated? Oh my gosh, I think it's updated. I think we updated it, right? I think it's good. Why won't it let me go to bed? Zero knots? How are we at zero knots? Okay. Seems kind of windy out. It's weird that it's only zero knots. And it's not letting me check the temperature. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. What do I do? I don't think, I don't think we did this properly. Check for available system update. Okay. C H K U P D. Three updates in total. Okay, update. Enter package code. 46084. Package found looking for serviceable lines. Please enter an active line. Line not available. Five, four, eight, seven. <whistles> oh no, oh no, oh no. We're hiding. We updated this. I am playing on my PC peck. Turn down the volume if it's too loud. The power went out.
think we have to go down and turn on the generator. The generator ran out of gas. Okay, is there gas out here? We got gas. I really had to pee before going back up. Okay. <laughs> Why is the microphone on? What just happened? What's going on? What's going on? One week later. Oh, God. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I've ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Another what? Jack? Jack? I need you to copy. Another what? Why does it keep doing this? Jack, you copy. Right okay, here, Connor. Tell me what. I don't have the energy. What happened? Generator. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. What? I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Is it raining outside? I don't want to go out in the rain. What? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. What do you mean I have to do this? I don't want to! Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Where's the fire coming from? I don't see any fire. Oh. Do I have a camera? Where's my camera at? What's going on? What's going on? Guys, what's going on right there? What is going on there? Only thing that made sense is time to take evidence of it. Oh no, what do I do? Oh no. Oh no. 
I gotta hide. What do I do? Hide? had to make a run guys huh? oh my gosh run, run 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 I don't know where to run I don't know where I'm running where am I running to where am I running to go I hide in the porta potty okay thank god there's checkpoints imagine if i had to do that over again the whole game hide in the porta potty guys am i towards the end of the game or no is there a lot of the game left or no? We got another one. I know. Jack, Jack, I need you to be copy. Gosh dang it. Jack, you copy. At least I don't have to start from the beginning, guys. Can you imagine if I had to start from the freaking beginning? Oh my gosh. Why can't I turn the light on? So I have to use this again, okay? So this time I have to hide in the porta potty.
I don't want to take a picture again. <gasps> yeah, that was a rookie mistake. That was a rookie mistake. That was a rookie mistake for getting to turn your flash. Rookie mistake for getting to turn your camera. Should I grab the flashlight or no? Do I need the flashlight or should I just run? Do I need the flashlight or should I just run? Too slow? Yeah! I'm gonna one. do it till I get it. I know it's Jack. Jack. I need you. We gotta do this. Jack, you copy. Okay, tell you what. I've been here busting my ass now. I've already heard all this. Silas is the cult leader. We got to escape him. It's time.
Right, guys, we gotta do it this time. Let's go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I literally was running full speed. Where do I run to? Where do I run to? I don't know where to go. Oh no. Where do I run to? Run to the RV. I don't remember how to get back to the RV. Oh, you go back. Guys, I thought we had to like run. I thought we had to like run into the woods. We we go back upstairs. Do I go to the RV or do I go upstairs? Someone has to tell me. I don't know. I don't remember where the freaking RV is. Do I go back upstairs, guys, or do I... Ah. Uh... And somebody look that up because I can't. Look up Iron Bark Lookout. <sighs> what, where, where do you go after the porta potty? Tell you what, I don't have the, I've been here busting my head. You know, I don't have to sit up to think about 
Do I go back upstairs, guys? Because I'm trying to remember. I can't really remember how to get back to the RV. Yeah, the flash was a stupid idea. Thanks, Bam, for the tip. Adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The 
The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh, man. Hey, we did it, guys. It took a few tries there at the end, but we did it. Oh! I wasn't sure at the end. I wasn't sure at the end if I had to go to the RV or I guess it wouldn't make any sense to go back upstairs because the door was broken, right? <laughs> Right, guys that was fears to fathom iron bark lookout we now have one more fears to fathom game to play it's like woodberry something um i can't remember the exact name of it but i'll play that sometime soon